This is Optimal Startup Daily, Episode 8, an excerpt from the book The Art of a Successful Life by Rainer Zittelman. And I'm Dan, I'm your host and narrator. Welcome to Optimal Startup Daily, where I read to you from some of the best blogs covering entrepreneurship and freelancing. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Usually I read a blog post, or sometimes two blog posts, from an author. Today I'm going to narrate an excerpt from a book for you, and I'll tell you about the author of the book right after the reading. But for now, let's get right to it as we start optimizing your life. An excerpt from the book, The Art of a Successful Life by Rainer Zittelman. Business leaders are decision-making machines. They make decisions all day long, which is, after all, what they get paid for. Nevertheless, there are six common decision-making traps they fall into. And it is no coincidence that four of these six mistakes were identified by Warren Buffett and his partner, Charlie Munger. After all, they have been extremely successful because they have thought so deeply about decision-making processes. Mistake one, perfectionism. Warren Buffett once said, quote, a friend of mine spent 20 years looking for the perfect woman. Unfortunately, when he found her, he discovered she was looking for the perfect man, end quote. Perfectionism is great, as long as it drives people to really do their best. However, it can turn into a serious obstacle if it is used as an excuse to hesitate and vacillate. Isn't it far better and more realistic to accept that there's no way to be perfectly prepared for every decision? And doesn't it make sense to recognize that external circumstances will never be ideal? Mistake two, making no decision can also be a mistake. Our biggest mistakes were things we didn't do, Companies we didn't buy, explained Warren Buffett's partner, Charlie Munger. Some people believe that the best way to avoid making a major mistake is to avoid making a decision at all. They are wrong. Even deciding not to make a decision is a decision to do nothing. In some cases, doing nothing could well be the right decision, but it could also be a very big mistake. Mistake three, believing that collective decisions are better. My idea of a group decision is to look in the mirror commented Warren Buffett. Decisions made by committee aren't necessarily better than decisions made by individuals. Many people lack the gumption to take responsibility and act decisively. They prefer to go with whatever the team decides, so they won't have to shoulder the blame if things start to go wrong. Mistake four, kicking a decision into the long grass. On the subject of decision-making, the German poet Johann Wolfgang von Goethe observed, quote, he who deliberates lengthily will not always choose the best, end quote. Many people go back and forth over every possible permutation of a problem without ever coming to a definite decision. Eventually, they find that a decision needs to be made one way or another. But are such forced decisions any better than the decisions they would have made at an earlier point in time? Is it possible to learn to make decisions more quickly? First and foremost, it is important to have a clear understanding of the desired outcome. When someone bases a decision on a vaguely defined end result, they will find it harder to decide quickly when the time comes. Having a clear sense of priorities also helps. Once priorities are clearly defined, it is easier to arrive at a decision far more quickly because it's obvious which elements of any question are most important and which are less so. Mistake five, overanalyzing and not listening to gut feeling. Scientific studies have confirmed that exceptionally successful individuals often rely on gut feeling. Arnold Schwarzenegger agrees, quote, don't overthink. If you think all the time, the mind cannot relax. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't use your brain, but part of us needs to go through life instinctively. By not analyzing everything, you get rid of all the garbage that loads you up and bogs you down, end quote. Researchers have found that people frequently make better decisions when they spend less time weighing up which course of action to take. At first glance, this may seem surprising, but everyone has intuition and an analytical mind. Intuition is the sum of all of the things we have ever experienced, the product of implicit unconscious learning processes. Anyone who believes that they need to analyze everything as thoroughly as possible will gradually lose the ability to listen to what their gut feeling is telling them. A survey of 83 Nobel Prize winners in science and medicine revealed that 72 strongly emphasized the role intuition had played in their success. Sometimes intuition takes the form of a spontaneous flash of inspiration, but sometimes it also needs a certain incubation period, which is what Schwarzenegger is referring to. 
The Nobel Prize laureate in medicine, Conrad Lorenz, put it this way, quote, If you press too hard, nothing comes of it. You must give a sort of mysterious pressure and then rest, and suddenly, bing, the solution comes. End quote. Mistake six, making decisions without using checklists. With some decisions, it is essential to listen to your intuition. For other decisions, checklists are very important. Charlie Munger explains, I'm a great believer in solving hard problems by using a checklist. You need to get all the likely and unlikely answers before you. Otherwise, it's easy to miss something important. When it comes to routine processes, particularly those where it's important that nothing goes wrong or gets missed, checklists are indispensable tools. For example, airline pilots are not allowed to take off before they have completed a series of extensive checklists. Air accident investigations have shown that in many cases, crashes could have been prevented had pilots fully adhered to their checklists. Numerous scientific studies also show that error rates during surgical procedures are much lower when surgeons follow predefined checklists. After all, what is a checklist? It's the result of learning from past mistakes that should now be avoided wherever possible. You just listened to an excerpt from the book The Art of a Successful Life by Rainer Zittelman. And a little bit about the author for you, uh, Rainer Zittelman is a historian and sociologist, but also a world-renowned author. He built his wealth as a real estate investor, but also as a successful businessman and entrepreneur, selling his PR consultancy business in 2016. He then got his second doctorate with a thesis on the psychology of the super-rich, he now has written 24 books, and what you heard right there is from The Art of a Successful Life, which you can find on Amazon or at theartofasuccessfullife.com. And finally, you can find much more about Rainer at rainer zittelmancom That's Rainer, R-A-I-N-E-R, dash Zittelman, Z-I-T-E-L-M-A-N-N.com. And that'll do it for today. I thank you so much for listening and being a subscriber of the show. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Friday show where your optimal life awaits.